This presentation deals with significant figures in scientific measurements. So any number that is measured or reasonably guessed at can be considered to be significant. And it represents all the precision and error in the numbers that we write down. And the important thing to remember is that all the error in the measurement is in the last recorded digit. So all non-zero numbers are significant. That is, they're assumed to be measured or reasonably guessed at. So if you look at 7.45 here, 5 is our last recorded digit. So there are a total of three significant figures in this number. Now, sometimes there are zeros in numbers that we've measured. And the zero can represent a number that has been measured or reasonably guessed at. A zero between two significant figures is significant. And so here, five represents the last number that we wrote down. It is where all our error is. So we have four significant figures. Now we can have trailing zeros. And some zeros don't actually represent a measurement. They represent magnitude. So those zeros are not significant because they have not been measured. The five is the last measured number, and it carries all of our error. And the zero that comes after it is not significant. So the five here is where our measurement really stops. And the zero just shows us how large our measurement is. So there are only three significant figures here in this number. Now there can be an exception to this and pay attention to that little decimal point that has now appeared. So if there is a decimal point following that zero, it means that that zero was actually measured. So the zero is now significant and our measurement ends there. Our zero contains all the error. That means that there are four significant figures in this number. Now there can be trailing zeros after a decimal point. So trailing zeros after a decimal point are significant. They represent something that has been measured and they contain all the error. They also kind of show that there's an increased precision in that number. So that zero contains all the error for our measurement. As a result, there are four significant figures in that number. Finally, there can be leading zeros, zeros that come before measured numbers. So some zeros, they just represent size or scale and they don't represent a measured number, so they are not significant. Leading zeros are not significant. Here, the five represents the last of the digits that we wrote down, all of our errors there. There are only three significant figures in this number. So if we're gonna sum it all up with a quick recap, all non-zero numbers are significant. Zeros between significant figures are significant. Trailing zeros after a decimal are significant. And leading zeros and trailing zeros without a decimal are not significant. All of this comes down to the matter of honesty. If other scientists are going to look at the measures, things that you measured, numbers that you wrote down, they want to know what it means. So let's try this. I've got five different examples here with numbers with different numbers of significant figures. You can go ahead and try and figure out how many significant figures there are in each one. If you do it correctly, this is the result that you'll come up with. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you in class.